Hello, Cancer. This is your name. Welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on? What's coming towards you? What you can expect the next 48. Okay. Um, so we're going to get some energies for Cancer. What's going on? Okay, we have purpose. I know what I am here to do. We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Okay, so I feel like something has ended. Something has ended and now you're in this worry stage. You know, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay. Le um, I wanted to call you Leo. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Okay, Cancer. Um, but I feel like you, something had to end. There was some kind of ending that just recently happened or may be happening. And it's, and I feel like you're, you're taking this solitary time to reflect you know why this happened what this led up to or you know what is your really what are you really doing here you know i i feel like you're really soul searching cancer but remember you know endings are just new beginnings okay so this is not completely over this is a new beginning a new cycle that you're going through Okay, Cancer, let's get some more energy for you. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card. Definitely some kind of new beginning here. And we also have the Three of Wands. Okay. We also have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like, you know, there, there's some kind of truth. There's something that you need to speak, something that you need to let out. I feel like you're holding it in. Um, you're like holding back your words, holding back your uh, thoughts or emotions. And I'm feeling like with this Queen of Swords energy, this is something that you really want to let out. You really want to, you know, set free is what I'm getting. Okay, and I feel like some kind of communication is coming through. You're going to hear word from somebody that um, the reason why this situation ended or the reason why this situation went the way that it did. I feel like you are kind of not really expecting what you're going to hear. It may be kind of. rocking your emotions at the moment okay um that's actually the feeling that i'm getting but i'm 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 getting that you you're not sitting down being solitary but you're still feeling kind of lonely you still feel like you're you're alone in this like you're the only one who sees the situation for what it is Okay, but I, I feel like, Cancer, you are very resourceful. And there is some kind of renewal. There is some kind of, you know, rebirth that you're going through. Some kind of new beginning that's coming forward. And I feel like it's, it's like expanding your awareness, expanding your knowledge, and maybe expanding your intuition. But I, I feel like you're kind of in this growing stage to where you are looking for something better. You're looking for something that's more stable, more reliable, something that you can really depend on. Okay. And I feel like whatever this is that ended, this could be a job, this could be love, this could be something else in your life that has ended but i feel like whatever this was this wasn't as stable as you thought it was okay it's something it's kind of like a tower moment it's something that had to 
you know, crumble so that you could evolve into something better. That's what I'm getting um, from these cards, Cancer. Okay, give me more of a message for Cancer. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more about the situation, please. Can you clarify the Page of Wands? What's coming in with this Page of Wands? We have the judgment again. Wow. Hmm. What did I say? The tower. Something had to end in order to create this new beginning. And we have the Knight of Swords. Some kind of truth. Someone wasn't being honest. Someone wasn't telling you the whole truth um, in the situation. And it kind of... I feel like what you're hearing from this person, you're really not expecting. It, it's like a stab in your heart. Um, but I feel like this person cares very deeply, but it's just not working. If this is a person, if this is a job or something, this just wasn't the right job for you. Okay. I feel like this, this job had to end so that something better can come around and something better is coming. You have the judgment card twice. So you're going through this growth. You're going through this rebirthing stage. Okay. That's going to, you know, put you in a better position because, you know, with, with these coffins, these, these people are where they always been, but they need to rise up. They need to take notice and move into this new reality, this new destination, you know, so it's some kind of, um, rebirth to where, you know, you're making a final decision. There's some kind of life purpose that you haven't noticed yet. Okay, and I feel like that's becoming more clear with this Knight of Swords energy, this tower. Okay, so so something is going to become more clear to you, Cancer. Some kind of life purpose that you're looking for is going to be clarified. Okay, now, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, the Justice card. Okay, and the Ace of Swords. Wow, lots of swords in this reading. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are becoming clear. There's a lot of things that I feel like you're kind of really soul searching. Um, but I feel like you're trying very hard to find some stable, um, some st stability in your life. You're trying to find that solid ground. And I feel like you're kind of battling through it. Um, but you're struggling to find the stability. Maybe you, you feel like you're walking on sand and things just, just aren't stable at the moment. But hang tight cancer you have the justice card so this is all going in your favor i feel like some kind of outcome is going to bring a lot of truth and it, it's going to all become very clear with the justice card you know this is all cause and effect energy so what kind of energy you put into it is what kind of energy you're going to put it get back from it okay so uh i feel like this is kind of a karmic event that's going on but this ending may have ended to push you into where you're supposed to be where you're destined to go okay so i feel like this tower had to happen this tower may be a blessing in disguise for you something that ended um abruptly may have been painful, may have been hard to deal with, but I feel like the outcome is going to be much better than you expect. Okay. Uh, tell me more about this justice card. Excuse me, this um, judgment card. Spirit, give me more messages for this judgment card. Okay. We have the page of wands. We have the sun card. Wow. Okay. And the seven of pentacles. So, <clears throat> 
I feel like someone is going to bring you some kind of message. Someone's going to bring you some kind of offer, some kind of blessing in disguise. Okay. There's some kind of blessing coming towards you. And I feel like there's going to be word on this. Someone's going to send you word. The reason why they walked away was because of this. Okay. But I, and I feel like this is all bringing things into more perspective. It's like lifting this weight off of your off of your body. I feel like there's a huge weight on your chest at the moment, but um, if things are going to become more clear, you're going to be more content, more happy in the situation, and you're going to feel like um, what it is you're doing is all worth the effort because I feel like you're kind of planting seeds at the moment. You may be planting seeds for new ideas, new ventures, a new relationship, a new job. Um, you may be putting out applications or something like that. But some, some kind of action that you're taking is going to bring you the outcome that you're looking for. Okay, if you're planting seeds, I feel like you're going to pick one of those opportunities and you're going to take off with that idea. Okay, tell me about this three of wands. Tell me more about this three of wands spirit. Okay, we have the seven of swords, the knight of wands, and the world card. Wow, okay. So you're definitely ending some 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 kind of cycle, um, but I feel like you're you're very close to achieving your goal, whether you know it or not, Cancer. You're very close with this Seven of Swords energy. I feel like this is something that you had to walk away from because it just wasn't bringing the attention, the you know the drive that you were looking for. So you had to go ahead and end that cycle to get into something that was more exciting, more, you know, more your type, you know, is what I'm getting. But th this is an end of the cycle. You have reached the finish line. You've learned the lesson from this situation and now you're moving on into this new beginning. Okay. Um, it may be a little nostalgic. You may feel like you, you may not want to walk away or you may not want to end the cycle, but I feel like it's for your greatest good. It's moving into you, into this new purpose that you have. This may be building a family. This may be, you know, building a new relationship, building some new career. Um, but I feel like it's all worthwhile. You have the sun here. You have the judgment card twice, with, which is a wake-up call, a rebirth. You know, you feel alive, like, you know, things are really turning your way, okay? And we have the strength card. So I feel like you're very strong and capable. You, you know, the, the questions that you have, are becoming more clear. They're becoming like more easier to handle. Okay. You have the six of swords. So I feel like you're definitely moving into a more content, more calm space. Okay. Um, very interesting energy, Cancer. Okay. Let's get another row going here. Let's see what else is going on for Cancer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get rid of those. Okay. Spirit, give me more messages for Cancer. Tell me more about this for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know in the next 48 hours? What does Cancer need to know in the next 48 hours, please? Okay. We have the Emperor. So you're taking control. You're, you're like being a... Um, authority, you know, you, you are someone people go to for advice. You, you have the power, the know-how, the, you know, ability to create. Look at this, the strength card. Wow. Okay. 
the Nine of Pentacles. You're building your well in the Hermit card. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, you are in that solitary space, but I feel like you're searching. I feel like you're in search of your wealth, of your independence, of being self-sufficient. And I feel like you have the power, you have the know-how, you have the authority to, you know, pursue whatever it is that you're doing. Um, because you also have the strength card, which is being very capable, very strong, very courageous. Um in your situation, I feel like with that strength card, I feel like you're you're fearless. You're walking into this just ready to battle. Okay, so whatever this is, I feel like you are really taking hold of the situation. You're like taking the bull by the horns and you're leading. Okay, you're becoming a leader, Cancer. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this Emperor energy. Tell me more about this emperor, please. Okay, and we have the Ace of Swords again, the Devil card, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like in the past, I feel like things just weren't clear. So you felt like you needed to take control of the situation. There's something that you really wanted to release. You really wasn't feeling very appreciated, wanted. Um, so you felt like that energy needed to be released. You needed to take full control, full action of the situation. Okay. So with this emperor card, I feel like, you know, you gain the clarity on the situation and you are like taking the bull by the horns. You're leading. You're definitely leading yourself out of this negative energy and out of this feeling of being unwanted, unappreciated. It may be a job that you had to walk away from him. Now, now maybe you're going in business for yourself. Maybe you're starting your own business. You're starting something that is purely yours, where you're the leader, you're the authority. Okay, very interesting energy. Hmm. Okay, Spirit, tell me more about this strength card. Tell me more about this strength, please. Message. To clarify the strength. Okay, we have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Okay, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that whatever this is that you're starting, whether this be a new relationship, a new job, career, a new business, I feel like, you know, in time, it's going to be very successful. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, but to stick with it. You know, don't give up. Persevere. Because I feel like your future is bright. You'll be watching your ships come in. There's something that, you know, you may be waiting for that success to come through, but that success is on the way. Okay, whether that be in business and love or, you know, in some kind of career or, or what have you. I've, you know, take it how it resonates in your life. But I feel like, you know, something that you're working on is going to bring you a lot of success. You need, just need to stick with it and, you know, just follow your intuition because it's coming through. Your ships will be coming through. It, it's not going to happen overnight, like I said, but I feel like if you push through, it's going to happen. Okay. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles energy. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Wow. Okay. So this, this, Nine of Pentacles energy. I feel like this is something that you have a lot of admiration for. This may be some kind of new relationship that you're trying to build, build up. Uh, something that you're trying to get off the ground. You know, this may be your, you know, in business, this may be like your baby that you're nurturing. Okay. This might be a project that you're working on. But I feel like, you know, with this Nine of Cups energy, this this is like some kind of proposal coming through. This is a power couple. Look, they're holding the world in their hands. And I feel like building together, they're able to become more 
more independent, more self-sufficient, building their wealth, building a legacy, okay? So this may be you in some kind of relationship, building a legacy that is going to be very strong, very resourceful, very, you know, driven and cared for. Um, the, the queen of the Queen of Wands, she's very assertive. She takes action. You know, she doesn't just sit by and watch things happen. She puts her hands in there and she she really molds things the way that she feels it should be. You know, she's very creative. Um, she's also very confident and very self-assured. She has a very high self-esteem because she's very attractive. She's very passionate. So I feel like whatever this Nine of Pentacles is, I feel like it's it's like an offer, a proposal for the future that's going to be very passionate, very... Look at all these wands here. Wow. Lots of passion, lots of fire. This could be uh, a fire sign coming towards you, uh, Cancer. So very interesting energy, okay? Uh, tell me more about this hermit card tell me more about this hermit please okay we have the justice card the page of wands and the sun wow okay cancer okay something that you've been searching for some kind of outcome that you've been waiting for that you've been trying to you know um look to happen is going to come forward it's going in your favor there's some kind of outcome that is going to be better than you expect and i feel like it's because you were in search of this um some kind of offer some kind of new beginning the pages are at a beginning of a new journey but they're they're like at this a premature moment like you know this is just the beginning of a thought beginning of an idea beginning of a you know passion or uh, relationship so I feel like you know whatever you're in search of this may be a new beginning but I feel like it's better than you expected it's a better outcome it's going to bring you happiness and contentment Okay, this is beautiful, beautiful energy, Cancer. So if this is a love reading, I feel like something that you're working on is some kind of person is going to bring you some kind of offer, some kind of communication that you've been waiting for. Okay, and it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, feeling of pride and contentment. Okay, beautiful energy, Cancer. Okay, let's get let's get some moonology cards for Cancer. Let's get some moonology. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, we have a time for healing. Yeah, with this death card, this new you know this ending may have been very hard. It may have like really drained your energy, uh, really left you wanting and feeling alone. So I feel like there will be a period of healing that you're going through. Um, but I feel like you, what comes next, a new romantic cycle begins. What comes next is going to make you feel exhilarated, uh, renewed, like, you know, you have this inspired hope for the future, okay? So, don't wallow too much because I feel like, you know, something is coming. A personal issue reaches resolution. So, definitely, I feel like there's some kind of resolution that you're finding. You're finding more solace, more... Um, reason to go forward confidence is the key to your success leo energy here so you have the strength you have the ability and step out of your comfort zone cancer you have this 
because prosperity lies ahead. So whatever's coming next is going to be very prosperous to you. Whether this is love, career, or, or your life in general, you know, take it where it resonates. But something is bringing you prosperity. Prosperity can be more than material goods. Prosperity, you, you could be prosperous in love, prosperous in your career, you know. Um, but I feel like something is coming that you are not expecting. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Beautiful energy. And we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Okay. Okay. So that is what I have for you. Um, cancer at the bottom we have there's a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released so a very interesting reading and i feel like you know everything is going to transpire and be better than you expected cancer so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And I have the February playlist all set up. So if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for February, feel free to do so. Um, that may give you more clarity on what is going on in your life. Okay? And until your next reading, Cancer, many blessings to you, love, and light.